guest is uh, known for a lot, including her role in Single Ladies and the Players Club, where she played Diamond. She's also a reality star who's always a hot topic. In the last, I would say, five weeks, we've talked about her at least eight times, randomly. So we had to have her here on the show to talk. Please welcome Lisa Ray McCoy. <laughs> All right. Do it right. Okay. First shoe cam. Oh, Model yeah. your feet. There you go. Uh huh. Beautiful. That's a really good pedicure too. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. My white. All right, but you're not wearing all white, which is this is one of the first. Yes, this is true because I have on my own collection. And you brought me some, please. Not yet because they're out in February. So. Okay, but they do a lot of stretching. Absolutely. And holding. For women that have the curves. Wait, let me. The junk in the curves. Let me see. Let me see. If you don't mind, turn around. Okay. Good. This is my. Signature. Oh no no. This is my signature jean. This is the diamond jean. Okay. Oh. Yeah yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you just got crowned queen. Like, we've talked about you so much in the past few weeks. I've heard, I've seen a little bit, and you all over the place. I know, well, I don't know how you keep popping up in the middle of stories. I'm hot. Uh, <laughs> okay, so one of the stories we talked about is so now you went from first lady of the Turks and the Caicos, mm -hmm. and now you're the queen of Ghana? Queen mother of Ghana. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's really big for what I'm doing now, using my platform for the better me, for creating peace and awareness for education over there. I want to do a small school over there, so I'm doing a lot of educating and stuff now. Yeah. Good for you. And then, and then we talked about you regarding Michael Missick, the divorce, and Nicole Murphy, and Roxy, and just all got really blurry, and then we had Nicole on the show, and all right, the first thing is, you and Michael were married for how long? Long enough. <laughs> Couple years. Yeah. And then you filed for divorce or he did? I did. Yeah. What was the last straw? Um, you know, neither one of us was 100%. You know, I will say that I cannot okay. point the finger at him. You know, when you're coming out of a divorce and you have to reflect on who you are, you know, I was doing this to him, and it was like, well, wait a minute, what did you do, and what part did Correct. you have in the marriage? Correct. So I've went through that. Um, but the last straw was just uh, the lot of shenanigans, you know, that's not honest and not being, you know, one on one. Did you walk in on him in bed with her? Nobody. Roxy? Nobody. Okay. I've never walked in. That would be a different story, and I probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> what role did she play? Because her, her, um, her name was mixed up in the, the hubbub. I don't know what role she really played in his life. Um, I just know that I've seen her a couple of times, you know, in places that she shouldn't have been. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now, you tell me about Dwayne Martin, who's married to Tisha Campbell, about who's good friends divorced. with... From Tisha. Her soon-to-be ex. I heard yeah. about that. I didn't know what yeah. to believe. Unfortunate, they've been married for so long, and... He's still good friends with Will Smith, though, correct? I don't know that either. I just know he's not my friend anymore. Oh. Okay. How close were you guys? Very close. He was my co-star in All of Us. Yes. Um, he was my brother. I called him my brother. And for me, at the time, he was my example. Being a married couple, I wanted to be around them because I wanted them to show me how to be a new oh. wife. Oh, and this is when you were with Michael right. at the time. And so then Michael got closer to him than you. That's what I said. That's what we talked about on Hot Topics. Yeah. Explain that. Well, you know, when you introduce your friend to your husband, I did that for business, for association, for relationship. And when it went sour and I had a sidebar with Dwayne and said, hey, you know, what are you doing and why are you doing it? And I don't... He became better friends with your husband than yeah. you were. He started, you know, being in places that he shouldn't have been. Where? My friend. 
Just um, along with the shenanigans. In your living yeah. room when you come home from work and you're like, um, Dwayne, what are you doing here? I didn't call you. Michael, why are you entertaining him? I made it very clear that okay. we were not friends anymore and that he was not welcome in my home anymore. And then I would come home and my butler called and said, well, first You're all, who? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Speak on it. Go ahead, Lisa Ray. So, my butler called and said, you know, um, Mr. Martin is in the guest house and he's coming to the big house. And I thought that that was disrespectful to even be in the guest house. Because well, no. I had told him I didn't want him. I'm that kind of friend, too, and I've explained this to people. When you're my friend, you're my friend. Yes. If Lisa Ray McCoy and I are friends and I introduce you to Tracy, mm -hmm. Tracy better not be calling you yes. behind my back. And, and you, like, like, I'm selfish like that. Yeah, it, we get well, together, the three of us, or not at all. I like that. I like that. And that happened too. But let me be clear. I never said that Dwayne broke my marriage up. I said that he uh, was a friend of mine and that he shouldn't have been in places that he was in with my now ex-husband. In other words, your property. Because you're yeah. not being specific. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't really need to be because he... Yes, it's Wendy. Well... Come on. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll say this. When you tell a person that you're no longer my friend, mm -hmm. if I see you, you don't have to ever speak to me again. Okay. If you were on fire, I wouldn't spit on you. <laughs> if I said these things to you, that means I no longer give a damn about you. So, so, okay, this is what we said on Hot Topics another day when your name was brought up. <laughs> um, wait, 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 well, let me say this. I know that he cannot break up my marriage. No one can do that because you're only responsible, you and your husband. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. So I, I want to clear that Correct. up. Correct. I'm not that foolish to Correct. That at all. But there's a code of conduct that you must have when you're in a relationship. Correct. And he broke that. He just he broke the friendship. What we said on Hot Topics was, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, that, that Dwayne was introducing Michael to women. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Um, I will say that he was with him. Definitely, I know that he was with him a lot of times, you know. I, I won't, Michael doesn't have a problem finding uh, relationships. You know what I mean? He was a playboy when I met him, you know what I mean? So he doesn't need anybody to coach him in. Was he that. with uh, Nicole Murphy? Was who with Nicole Murphy? Michael? Yes. Oh. Yes. Well, she was here and she denied that. I know she did. She did a play on words with that. She said, I did not break up Lisa Ray's marriage. I wouldn't give her that much credit to say that she broke and up. And then you, and then you were on TMZ and you gave it to her straight. Yeah. I, I gave it to her straight because my thing is this. When you're a woman and you're grown, let's handle it like a woman. Let's talk face to face and let's get it out. But here's the thing. I sat with her a couple of months ago, longer than a couple of months ago, about six months ago. And this I said, was after the alleged affair? Uh, before. Before. Okay, okay. And I said, let's talk about it, because I waited a very long time for you and I to get like this right here, face okay, to face, you know? Okay, okay. And... <laughs> no, she's talking about Nicole, and... not me. Right. <laughs> right. Relax. And we had a good conversation, because she said to me, you know what? We're two older women that look good that's in the business. I hate this. And I do, too, because I hate when we can't bridge the gap between women. You know? We should not be in that position. Right. I will say this. I'm not a saint. I got some skeletons in my closet as well. They may I'll come bet. out, they may Diamond. fall out, but right now, they're in. And... <laughs> but my thing is this, when you have skeletons, you have to be able to say to me, let's game peep game, truth peeps truth. What's up? Tell me what's going on. And she sat in my face and lied. So when she got here and said that I lied, it was like, oh, wait a minute, you should have plead the fifth. Because pleading the fifth would have been like, now you outwardly saying that I'm lying, that's a lie. So that's why, for me, it's like, hold on now. You know we had a conversation about this. Come talk to me. And here's the thing. I don't make me do it with the receipts. Don't make me do it. Do it. Because... Do it. Do it. Because here's the thing. I don't ever talk about nothing I don't know. Just know that about Did me. you find a condom in the bed? Like, what, <laughs> what, what receipts? I, I, I got proof. You know? What kind I, of proof? The kind that I don't need to ask nobody else about. A secret camera or something? Oh, and now hold on now. I tell you this, and the only reason why this is coming up again, because I'm almost like, why am I talking about this again? I've been divorced for almost 10 years. You know, what is this? But I've done some soul searching within myself. Yes. Some reflection. Your hair, by the way, looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Like, <laughs> head to toe. Yeah.
And I'm cleaning up my own mess. Yeah. So when I actually tweeted with the um, Nicole Murphy and Antoine Foucault thing, I did not know it was gonna go viral. I just made a comment because you, you see of a friend that is messing over another friend and you doing the same, same thing and the shenanigans. I was just like, girl, for real, not again. And it just blew up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so when it blew up, they took it everywhere. And so they put it in the headlines. I said that she messed around with my husband. Well, the thing was, once they asked me, I told them the truth. We <laughs> saw it on TMZ. Uh, I did too. Yep, you talked <laughs> like a champ. So now look. I am. <laughs> so look, look, are you dating Noel Jones, Grace Jones's brother? That's the pastor? another rumor. Well, it's we talked old. about that on Hot Topics. That was so old. Well, that's why ago. I invited you here. And I told you years ago that that was never true then and it ain't true now. Well, you want to double back by. <laughs> no, I don't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing he's very handsome. Um, he is a great preacher. Before I found my church home, which was uh, is LA. Um, uh, one church LA, okay. uh, Pastor Torrey Roberts uh, and um, Sarah Jakes, T.D. Oh. Jakes' daughter. Okay. I'm there and I teach there. So I found my home. I'm a Christian. I've been baptized now. So I'm trying to change my life for the better. Yeah. You know, and, and, and y'all keep trying to pull me back in. You know? Because you're always in the headlines. We got a job to do. But no, I'm not dating him. Uh, he's helped me uh, uh, tremendously with the Bible. Well, what's he's up, a good friend of what's mine. What's up with your love life? Not a thing. Really? <laughs> So you're totally eligible? Look like you. Oh, no, 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 no. I am getting a divorce, but I am. I've gotten mine. And I, so I'm you I am very claimed. You are claimed already? I'm, I'm very claimed. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you came. Give it up, everybody, for Lisa Ray McCoy. For more information about her new jeans line, go to wendyshow.com.